Number 1 Cyberpunk 2077 Cyberpunk 2077 is the long-awaited follow-up to the massively popular The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, a franchise that brought Polish developer CD Projekt Red out of anonymity, and rightly so. The Witcher 3 was a sprawling masterpiece based on the popular novels by Andrzej Sapkowski. CD Projekt Red's ambitious follow-up looks like it's ready to take the hype head-on. Instead of swords, sorcery, and witches, it's guns, cybernetics, and Keanu Reeves. If you're a fan of near-perfect role-playing, then you'd be wise to keep your eyes peeled on Cyberpunk 2077. While not without controversy, CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the more interesting releases of the upcoming year. Based on a long-running and well-loved tabletop role-playing game series, this is the studio's big follow-up to Witcher 3, a massive open-ended role-playing game designed to immerse you in a complex world and carry you through it. Where Witcher had spells and swords, this time you've got guns, hacking, cybernetic implants, and Keanu Reeves, who plays a major mentor role announced at this past E3 to major acclaim. While it's unlikely to capture the lightning in a bottle that was Witcher 3's near-perfect role-playing excellence, Cyberpunk 2077 will still undoubtedly be worth paying attention to when it launches for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Google Stadia on April 16. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. That's what I'm talking about! Alright! In and out, bitches! We're rich! Number 2 The Last of Us 2 Naughty Dog Considering the last game came out in 2013 and it was a downright masterpiece, yet, The Last of Us Part 2 is rightfully earning its place on this list. The gameplay looks insanely beautiful, gritty, intense, and most of all, human. This time around we play through Ellie, fighting for survival in a brutal world and meditating on morality and human nature. Sounds like the first game? That's because it is. Why fix something that isn't broken? A new trailer has even given us our first glimpse of Joel, though they now seem estranged as Ellie embarks of a raging violent mission to avenge her dead lover. The complex gameplay mechanics, gorgeous graphics, and emotionally impactful trailers are enough to get us shaking in our boots. With excitement? With fear? Probably a good mix of both. The sequel to Naughty Dog's prestige action game is finally upon us. Whereas The Last of Us was a dark, brutal meditation on violence and power in a post-apocalyptic landscape, The Last of Us Part 2 looks to be a dark, brutal meditation on violence and power in a post-apocalyptic landscape. Only this time, you play as an older Ellie, the younger companion from the first game, sent on a roaring rampage of revenge after the death of her lover. Will Ellie's homosexuality be used in the plot for anything more than an excuse for violence? Will this game have something intelligent or interesting to say about its violence, or will it just be a festival of nastiness? It's not at all clear, but with Naughty Dog at the helm, it's bound to be compelling even if it comes up empty. Ellie's dark revenge fantasy begins when The Last of Us Part 2 comes to PlayStation 4 on May 29. Number 3 Halo Infinite 343 Industries, the long-awaited follow-up to the masterful Halo 5 Guardians, 343 Industries have certainly got big shoes to fill. But truth be told, after taking over the franchise from Bungie, they have hardly made a misstep. While there is no set release date as of yet, Halo Infinite will be an exclusive release with the Xbox Series X slated to drop in late 2020. However, it's reasonable to assume the COVID-19 outbreak could delay the release plan. Die Hard fans will be excited to know that Master Chief will be returning to the franchise, along with Gyoza of the Pug doing the voice acting for Aliens. Plus, to utilize the power of the new console, 343 Industries have developed a new game engine called Slipspace. Sounds pretty appropriate if you ask me. The contemporary history of the Halo franchise is rough. After Bungie departed to follow the path to their destiny, 343 Industries took over as the development team on the space military franchise, and no one has really been fully pleased with the results. While the Master Chief Collection has evolved into one of the best curatorial projects in commercial games, the path there was rocky the multiplayer feature did not work on initial release. Halo 5, meanwhile, was a troubled game that didn't seem to fully satisfy creators or players. Halo Infinite, technically Halo 6, is a chance to right the ship, reinstating dynamics players loved about the initial games and proving that, yes, 343 knows what it's doing. We haven't seen much of the game so far, but that will change pretty soon, as Halo.
Infinite is slated as a launch title for this Box Series X, coming sometime at the end of 2020. Number 4 Half-Life Elix Valve, if we told you last year there would be a new Half-Life game dropping in 2020, you wouldn't have believed us, and I don't blame you. Half-Life 2 Episode 2 came out in 2007, and we've heard barely a peep since. Yet, with Valve still behind the franchise, our hearts retain more than a little hope. Recognizing the demand for a AAA VR experience, Valve has been working on Half-Life Elix for over five years. The gameplay looks gorgeous, captivating, and incredibly fun. One of the more intriguing titles to be releasing this year. Reasonable, frankly. It's been 13 years since the last major Half-Life release. But here we are. A flagship virtual reality title, Half-Life Elix is a prequel set in between the first and second games in the series, starring hero and future Gordon Freeman companion Elix Vance. It looks like a fascinating attempt to blend classic Half-Life gamma play with current VR mechanics, and the visual design is impressive. Valve's best designers, including people formerly of Firewatch's Campo Santo, have worked on this title, and we'll see if that effort can create a successful Half-Life successor when Elix releases for PC in March. Number 5 Dying Light 2 Techland, by tying in Parker, sprawling vertical cityscapes, and an in-depth crafting system, Techland were able to carve their own space into an already well-worn genre of zombie apocalypses. Expanding on the formula that made the original so great, Dying Light 2 looks to employ more character development and tailored storytelling into the mix. Set 15 years after the original, Dying Light 2 takes places in the last great human settlement, though it seems to have plunged into a gothic dark age. The whole game can be played in four-person co-op, and we cannot wait to face more unspeakable horrors when the sun goes down.